Good day. My name is Kmont. This podcast is brought to you by Majuba Tivet College. It specifically relates to financial accounting and five for South African Tivet Colleges. In this presentation, I'd like to focus on partnerships and I'd like to tackle appropriation statement. Before I even tackle the core content in regards to the calculations and the completion of the appropriation statement, I'd like to discuss the key takeaways. Candidates need to be aware that as a rule of thumb, when they're required to do their income statement and the final examination paper, they'll also be required to do their appropriation account. Now the thought process is candidates will have to do the income statement, whether they're doing a short income statement or a long income statement, and afterwards they'll have to complete the appropriation account. The appropriation account is actually done after the income statement. I quickly want to take you to the complete uh, set of um, uh, income statement relating to the partnerships. So essentially that's the income statement. The presentation relating to the income statement has already been done. Um, so that's basically the end product. Um, once a card date has done the income statement, then they'll proceed with the appropriation account. That's exactly how it looks like. You don't have to worry about uh, amounts and calculations at this point in time, because in the next uh, presentation, we're going to uh, deal with uh, uh, calculations extensively. Moving along swiftly, another key takeaway that I need to emphasize is that when you're required to do uh, the appropriation statement, you need to refer to the partnerships uh, agreement. And the partnerships agreement uh, basically consists of uh, a, a, a provisions that will assist you in uh, determining calculations relating to the appropriation statement. I quickly want to take you to the question paper that was written on the 22nd of November 2016. And I want to show you an example of the partnerships uh, agreement. Okay, there, were, there you go. Uh, as you can see, there was question one. Candidates were required to do the income statement and the appropriation statement. The wording highlighted in green relates to the partnerships agreement. And all that is highlighted in yellow relates to um, the provisions of the partnerships agreement. In preparing uh, the appropriation statement, a student has to be able to interpret and use uh, the provision of the uh, partnerships agreement to complete the appropriation statement. I'm not going to uh, discuss calculations at this stage, but in the next uh, presentation, we'll specifically discuss uh, calculations uh, uh, attributable to partnerships uh, agreement. Moving along swiftly, lastly, I'd like to emphasize that uh, the partner, the appropriation, the purpose of the appropriation statement is to communicate uh, the profit uh, distribution to partners. You would remember that in, in N4 and uh, in matric as well, we would have handled uh, the income statement relating to a sole proprietor amongst other income statements. And you realize that for the sole proprietor, we didn't have the appropriation statement because we didn't have any partners to share the profit to. We only had uh, one owner, so we didn't have to deal with the complexities of preparing the appropriation statement. The appropriation statement is relevant for the partnership because at the end of the day, uh, the profit will be distributed to the partners. And as I've mentioned, that we will do it via the um, appropriation statement.
on a question paper that was written on November 2016, candidates were required to do the appropriation statement. I'm not going to go back to the question paper because I've already uh, showed you in the previous slide how the question paper looked like. So it's important that when you prepare for partnerships, you, you prepare for the income statement and both the appropriation statement as both are highly examinable. Thank you. Once more again, if you've got questions, you can contact me on my cell number or you can use my email address. There's podcasts. Once more again, was brought to you by Majua College.